We've heard plenty from the Brexiteers, the charlatans, the shysters, the useful idiots today. Honorary Dartmouth. Uh, thank you, Mr. President, for taking the point of order. Um, I rise under Rule 11, Section 3. Sorry, I rise under Rule 11, Section 3. Uh, and to quote the rules of procedure, the conduct of members shall be characterized by mutual respect. And whatever Mr. Smith's inadequate comments just now, the fact of the matter is that he violated the values and principles of the European Parliament, of which we had an outstanding example from, from Mrs. Fox's, Fox's comments earlier on. Notwithstanding, the request is that the President delivers to Mr. Smith a formal reprimand. Mr. Coburn, you have the floor. Very briefly, Mr. President, I don't normally get upset by anything, um, but <clears throat> uh, Mr. Mr. Smith is the master of the politically correct. He'd hound anyone to the gates of hell if they said anything politically incorrect. So I don't normally worry about these things, but in this occasion, I think he's gone over the top, and I think he should apologize. Normally he's not so silly, so I think he's, he's not doing himself any good or his political party. Okay. Mr. Coburn, I mean, we know you're pretty lively. We know that. We've seen that. I think that at the end of the day, the intention behind that term was political criticism. I don't think he intended to be offensive to a colleague. We've heard the definition. It was a political criticism. I don't think he was trying to offend anyone for racial reasons or for political reasons. So I think uh, the word should be interpreted as a political criticism. If it were otherwise, we would be obliged to intervene. But I think that it was a political criticism, nothing more. Let's move on to the votes now.